In this video, we'll cover two ways to use your amplifier with an audio interface. Let's do a rundown of the equipment used in this video. The Focusrite Scarlett 2i4 audio interface. The Shure SM57 dynamic microphone. The Audio Technica P48 condenser microphone. The Fender Hot Amplifier. The Epiphone Acoustic Regent 30 amplifier. Next, we'll discuss some important differences between microphones. There are two microphones you need to consider when using an audio interface. Dynamic microphones and condenser microphones. Condenser microphones require phantom power from the audio interface, which we will cover later in the video. Dynamic microphones do not require phantom power. This is the Shure SM57 microphone, which is a dynamic microphone. And this is the Audio Technica P48 microphone, which is a condenser microphone. Okay, now we'll put it all together. We've got the two amps, a quarter inch cable, a MacBook Pro, the Shure microphone, a microphone cable, the Audio Technica microphone, the audio interface, and a USB cable. Now, we'll connect the audio interface to the MacBook with the USB cable, like this. As you'll see, there is a big difference between these two amps. The Fender amp has an output line out, and the Epiphone doesn't. This means the Fender amp can be plugged directly into the audio interface if you would like. Epiphone, however, does not have that capability, so you'll have to use a microphone to utilize an audio interface. This is the preferred method for some musicians. This is how I connect the Fender amp directly to the audio interface. Which will then have a track on Logic Pro, which I have loaded on the laptop. As I previously mentioned, the Epiphone will need a microphone to use the audio interface. So I have the Shure microphone ready to go and will now plug that into the audio interface. Again, this is a dynamic microphone 
and will not require any settings on the audio interface. This will also have a track on Logic Pro. This is the Audio Technica microphone, which is a condenser microphone. This requires phantom power, which is a setting marked 48V on your audio interface. Turn it on like this. Let's take a closer look at the audio interface. Some key settings include the gain knob, the instrument line toggle to select the type of input you are using, and finally you have the option to plug in headphones if you want to get a closer listen or to be quiet. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below.